Hey guys, I'm Alicia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, 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 it has been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without some dope videos to rock to. I know I've been MIA. Well, not really though, because your girl has been busy. I know quarantine might have been kind of slow for some people bored in the house and they in the house bored. That wasn't really my quarantine. Um, my quarantine has been rather hectic because if you don't know, your girl is an entrepreneur. That means I always got something to do. If you didn't watch my six fun facts about me video, which go back and watch it. <laughs> but if you didn't watch it, then you don't know that I was a hairstylist for going on 20 years and worked in many capacities. And from that, I developed my own beauty supply business. That's right. I own a beauty supply store and we are mobile and online. And since, you know, a lot of places were shut down, my business was very busy um, because we ship nationwide. So it has been a busy, busy, busy quarantine for me. Um, and uh, being an entrepreneur, listen, keeping it all the way real, being an entrepreneur is not easy. There's always something to do, whether it's maintaining your social media, responding to emails, sending out emails, like handling inventory, all types of stuff. There's always something to do as an entrepreneur. So your girl stays busy. Um, but I am thankful for that. So I will not complain because I know times have been hard for a lot of people. With that said, I haven't really recorded because I didn't want to be insensitive to what is going on in the world today and, and, and make light of what everybody's going through. But I'm like, you know what? People need to find joy. And if I want to find joy and I want to be happy, I'm sure there are other people who do and they find joy in my videos. That's part of my purpose on this planet. I definitely believe is to spread joy and spread happiness and just be a light. And so I'm like, I can't dim my light or hide my light during a time when people need that the most we need an outlet we need something so here i am <laughs> you know here i am okay and um i just want to say that anybody 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 that's going through a tough time right now during quarantine financially mentally emotionally and anybody that's having a tough time with the state of our country and the black community um i pray that you find some way to bring yourself joy find some way to uh keep the peace because this world is turned upside down right now and we cannot let it destroy our happiness. Though we're not saying we're going to ignore the issues and we're not going to address and work hard and fight for change and fight for what's right. But you still have to have a balance with finding your keep finding and keeping your sanity. You know, you can't let it get you down and get you into a deep, dark place. And that's why I decided to record this video. I didn't want to not be there in a fun happy way for people who probably are looking for something fun and happy to bring them some joy so i really have been in a state of just peace wanting to find peace wherever i can find it and you know i find that in just chilling enjoying my home laying out in the backyard hanging out with my husband um because i haven't hung out with any friends um because quarantine so you know i find my peace where i can you know cooking which if y'all missed it I, I showed y'all my quarantine cooking chronicles uh go check it out or if you missed it you saw me giving my husband a quarantine haircut like you know i find peace and joy in just relaxing watching some tv doing some cooking um i've been trying to cook on the healthy side but uh you know it's quarantine do what makes you happy <laughs> so so let me update y'all on what your girl has been up to. So as you already know, and I just told y'all, your girl been busy with orders for the Beauty Nomad, which is my beauty supply business. The link will be down below. If you want to shop and check it out, you can get all kinds of dope beauty supplies, including, you know, you see these hair pins? They're from the Beauty Nomad. So here's a little look into what my life is like as an entrepreneur. When I say your girl been working, she been working. Check it out. Hey guys, so... Y'all can see I'm out and about in a whole pandemic, but grind don't stop. It's inventory time, so let's get it. Oh, 
inventory has arrived and I have my handy dandy assistant. So, time to load it up. So, I had to make a new order packing station. We really have been having so many orders. It's been a blessing, but I had to expand. I was, as you can see, my desk is a mess. <laughs> so I had to bring in a table. I'm going to put a um, little shelving thing up there. And yeah. So as you can see, listen, your girl is getting to it. Her hair has always been a part of my life, my journey, and um, and so I enjoy bringing beauty to people. I enjoy educating people. Follow me on my uh, beauty supply Instagram page, which is at the Beauty Nomad. I give all kinds of hair tips, tricks, tutorials, and everything because as a hairstylist, I know it's stuff I might know that you probably never even thought of, considered, or fathomed. So make sure you follow me there. Getting back into the other things that I've been into, I love a good documentary. Me and my husband love documentaries. So we have been watching everything from Tiger King to uh, the Jeffrey Epstein documentary. Shade. Um, they got a new one coming out too. Um, we've watched Wild Wild Country. We've watched um the McBillions one about the McDonald's scam. It, child, I could go on and on for days. If you love documentaries, please let me know what documentaries you've watched that are bomb in the comments. Cause I love documentaries. They're so dope. I just feel like it's ways to learn about things in the world that you never even knew existed <laughs> or that are so crazy or to learn about all kinds of scams and schemes and shady people out here in the world. Like I feel like documentaries prepare me for going out into the world and not get scammed or got. <laughs> So let me know in the comments what uh, documentaries you guys have been watching or checking out or any shows for that matter because I'm always looking for something new and exciting to watch. Let me know what y'all been checking out. Of course, I wouldn't be me if I wasn't being creative. Your girl has been into so many different DIY home projects from things in the backyard to things in the house. Like I've been keeping busy with that as well. You would... you. Like I don't have enough hours in the day and sometimes I feel like I don't but it's just when you're a creative person like it's always something to do so if I'm not working and creating for my business then I'm doing something in the home it, it's just I'm always up to something so I keep my hands busy and I keep my husband busy check out some of these projects <laughs> y'all see it y'all see me out here but no seriously i love diy and i definitely want to start sharing more diy with you guys because people come to my home and they're always like oh my god where'd you get this and i'm like i made it <laughs> like i'm a very creative person so um naturally i use it to add unique pieces to my home and lifestyle so if you guys want me to show you like diy projects as i'm making them or like a how-to definitely let me know in the comments as well because i'm all about sharing information Information. that's what I'm here for okay and last but not least when it comes to cooking your girl has been keeping it simple <laughs> after them cooking chronicles I was just like let's just stick to the things that we know okay stick to the rivers and the lakes that we're used to okay um so I haven't really experimented with anything too crazy lately I have been reconsidering trying to cook mussels again if you don't know how it went down the first time, make sure y'all go and check that video out. Um, it was interesting. <laughs> but I have been considering trying it again and we'll see. Maybe 
I don't know. If y'all want to see me redo it, let me know, as always, in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's just a brief and quick update of what I've been up to, how's quarantine been for me. Um, I really, like I said, hope and pray you guys are finding ways to find your peace, find your joy, keep uh, your spirits high during such a trying time in this world. And most importantly, stay safe. Be smart out there, okay? Do what you got to do to stay safe. Make sure you're not affecting yourself or the others around you. If you want to see even more of what I'm up to on a daily basis, follow me on Instagram right here. And as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell. Ding. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.